Yep. See that? <laughs> Dude, that's it right there. That jerkbait bite. You can't beat that. <laughs> What's poppin' people? Welcome back to another video. Today, we're gonna be trying to catch these aggressive barramundi with some jerk baits. It's gonna be a blast. That's a good little fish right there to start off the day. Um, when they turn on that jerk bait, these fish are so strong. It's nothing like a bass, and it's just a lot of fun. They fight so hard. That is a sweet looking fish right there. Let's go ahead and get, get him back in the water, see if we can get another one. Get a little release on her. There she goes. dive over it. Get him out from under there, look at that. You hear that other one pop? Yeah. <laughs> that was sweet too. Literally watched me. Look at that, look at the other two with him, right up on the bank. Yeah. Look at how he ate that. I hooked that right away. I did I just watched him. Thank you Mike. Look at the colors on that one Cody. See that sun glowing off of him? <laughs> Let's go dude. That bite was so cool. You know Usually you just fill and load up on the jerk bait, but I actually saw him swipe on it. I saw him eat that thing completely. Cool thing was, is there was like three of them that followed him back in, and there was a couple that were a lot bigger. Thanks, bud. So we caught a few on the jerk bait so far, but Mike's wife's about to walk on the end of this and see if she can catch one with her hands. I don't, I've never seen nothing like this, so let's see if it, let's see if we can make it happen. What's up? What is it? A large mouth. A large mouth? Yeah, throw, throw a live, live bait on there real quick. Where's he at? Where's he at? Right here. See him? Right at the tip of that grass. There he goes. There he goes. Oh, uh, what the heck was that, Cody? I thought that's what it was. No, I mean, <laughs> uh, why, did, why did he just, yeah, he was like swimming towards it like he was going to eat it. I bet he would have gulped that mint or the shot. Oh out. man. <gasps> Dude, that was so crazy, man. That made me lose it. Dude, that was crazy. I've been pretty calm all day until that happened, and I, that just made me lose it. I like skipped it up under there, guys. I started reeling it in, and uh, I was about to pick it up out of the water, and there's one just, I mean, it was tailing it. His nose was out of the water, sniffing the air, dude. Okay, now I get hung up. You got one, Cody? Yeah. What you got? Peacock? Yeah. Oh, dude, that's the best one yet, ain't it? No? All the same size? Yeah, about the same. They're all, they're all like twins, aren't they? Mm -hmm. Look at that. Chunks of cam, Cody. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Nice. He's a skinny guy. Skinny, but he's pretty. Yeah, he is. I don't think there's an ugly peacock guys. <laughs> there isn't. He definitely isn't like as bright as the other ones, but uh -huh. that's cool. And by the way, guys, if you want to check out a peacock video, look at all those leeches in his mouth. He's oh, got yeah. a ton. But if you guys want to check out, we, we caught some peacocks and bass and a lot of other things on live bait. If you guys want to check that out, that video would be on our channel. But that's Thank cool, you. bro. I'm going to start burning it back and you see it's going to eat. Dude, that, bacon. Put, it, put it next to your face, bro. Dude, like, 
On bacon? I put a piece of bacon on, ba on there. What are you fishing with? I've dude? never caught a fish on bacon before. <laughs> it's your Look first that. bacon fish, dude. <laughs> he likes your bacon. bacon. <laughs> oh, that's good. There he is right there. I got a bass on that little tiny thing. Look at that. We got just a little bass on that micro. A little micro lure we trying to catch this bluegill on earlier. It's a little fat, fat guy. Alright, so we have this little micro lure. We're gonna see if we can get one of these peacocks to bite in this canal. I've had two different times where they tried to eat it. But they would just spit it out so quick and I couldn't get a hook in them. So let's see if we can catch one right here. I, I walked down here a second ago and I was just scanning the bank and uh, we saw a lot of them swimming out in the middle. So we might be able to catch one. You got one? Oh. Dude, I had one chasing me there. I got a bass too. Look at that. I thought it was a a pea. Yeah, there's a lot of them right here. Look at that. I really thought it was a pea, Cody. I was excited. I was like, I got them that time. You really got to watch it. Like you got to pay attention. You can't really feel them eating that little tiny bait. You only got like a second to hook You got a second. I mean, you can feel them eat it, but like you, by the time you feel them, they're done. Yeah, so. that's a good one. That's nice one. Right in here, you know? Yeah. Now, there's a lot of peas right here, too. I mean, there's they're roaming. But you know what's scary, bro? It's my only one, dude. Oh, no. Like, that's the last thing you, you want to see, right? So if you guys are wondering why we're fishing over here, the Bear Monday got a little slow. Um, we had... You know, it was sunny out, and then it got cloudy for a while. It looked like it was about to rain, and now it's just beautiful out, but it's it's getting hot. But the bear Monday just kind of shut off, so we're like, you know what? Let's just hop on the other side right here. Like, you literally have, show them right there, Cody. You got the bear Monday pond. Yeah. And then you got peacocks and largemouth and bluegill. How can you beat that? You can't. Like, let me just catch bear Monday. Matter of fact, I'm not in the mood today. Let's catch a little peacock. I'm trying to see if we can find some more peacocks. We're getting our way to the back of the end, uh, end of this canal. But big shout out to Osceola Outback for having us back out here. You know, we, we were going down to Florida, you know, we filmed a bunch of really cool stuff down there. Even got a Karen video, go check it out. Link can be down below. Um, but yeah, we're coming back through and we're like, we got to stop by Osceola again. We always have a blast out here. And if you guys want to come experience this, I'll leave their socials down below. Really good people and all in out, it's just a sweet place to be. So. If you guys want to check this place out or if you want to come experience this i highly i highly suggest it man like this is this is crazy this isn't something we do all the time like we only came this is our third time now for, with, for filming videos here but it's just a lot of fun man you don't get to experience this anywhere else you ready Feels like a decent one. Then again, those small ones bite so hard. Oh yeah, dude, this is a big one. Okay. Oh, that's a good one. Yeah. Dude, you chomp down on it. I swear, I'm convinced that these small ones fight better than the big ones. Yeah. At least as far as like being wild. Some wild fish. Right on that big hair jig. He cranked that thing. Took me a couple casts and like six or seven bites, but we got one to commit to that. It's pretty cool. They just got a lot of power in them. I feel like the big ones will lug you around more, but those things just go all over the place. Oh my gosh, he had it right there. Remember what I was doing the other day? Mike, do you care if I... It's my only one. There he is. 
That was cool. Oh. This thing wearing me out. Mm hmm. Well, there we go, guys. That was a uh, little figure eight action on that one. Still on the hair jig, but that's one of the smallest bear Monday I think we've caught, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, definitely. It's a really small one, but you still I got. I wouldn't say that's the smallest one we've caught. It is, definitely is. But, dude, they fight so good. Like, it doesn't matter the size of them. Look, she's got one now, too. Oh my gosh, I'm like tripping. That was so cool. That was so cool. This one's bigger too. <laughs> that was crazy. That one's a little bit bigger than those other ones. That's a fat one, Cody. That's a good one. That was a cool buy. The moment that he had it, he was just flying out of the water. And one thing that we didn't talk about was the barbless hooks. So Mike, come here real quick. I want you to explain to everybody, like, tell, tell them why you use the barbless hooks out here. Yeah, mainly it's just easier on the fish. You know, we don't run treble hooks. We run single hooks only, and we, we do barbless on everything. My bad. It's just, it's easier on the fish if we release them in the ponds and stuff. Yeah. It's easier to get those hooks out too. Well, and if they're in your hands, it's easier to get out fish. Yeah, they happen. for sure. Now, they're strong fish. Once you guys, when you grab them, I mean, you, yeah, they'll <laughs> tear you up. Let's go ahead and get them back in the water. That was a cool bite. That's probably the coolest one yet, wasn't it? Yeah. He jumped. He jumped good. Yeah, he did. <laughs> I, was, I was wondering if he was just jumping. Oh, he had me right there, Cody. Well, I'm used to doing it on a spinning combo. So I just want to hold it. It just, I don't know, it feels weird. They are wearing me out, man. These fish are strong. Even though it's a small one. It was a really small one. We might have our smallest beat, Cody. Oh, yeah. Look at oh, the yeah. colors on him. Is it my sunglasses? No. Maybe. He looks purple. No, they will get a purple haze to him. Here we go. Almost like catching... I'm not going to say I like catching the small ones better, but they're fun to catch. They, pull, like they, they do. They just fight different. Well, guys, I think that's going to conclude today's video. If you enjoyed it, please hit the like button. If you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button. Big thanks to Osceola Outback for having us out for another trip. And I'll catch y'all in the next video.